Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, meine Damen und Herren, señores y señoras, welcome back. It is game number three here for the community show match between Liquid TLO and ESC's Goody. We are on the, like I just said, the most beautiful map of all in StarCraft 2, Belgia Beach. TLO is the red turret. Looks like he changed his color, so I have to change the color of the scoreboard too. There we go. TLO is the red turret in the top left location. Goody is, of course, always the purple turret. He is spawning in the bottom right. So, if you're not too familiar with uh, Belshia Beach, or only familiar with the older version of Belshia Beach, let me just give you guys and girls a small walkthrough uh, to see what's going on on this map. There's the main base. It's uh, small to medium sized. We got a cliff down here, so um, there's some reapers can do some hop off, hop offing, uh, hop on, hop offing. Um, they got enough uh, locations, enough space to drop. There's a very small entrance here to the main base uh, with a small high ground area. Now there's the natural expansion. There are three entrances to the natural expansion. One over here, one over there, and one here. Oh, no, they did change it. Now, the uh, natural expansion actually is not... Uh, it's only having two entrances anymore. This was on the older version of Belshevich, my mistake. Now, there, next to the natural expansion, is another expansion, as well with two entrances. And if you move even more to the left, to the bottom left corner of the map, there's another base. Now, of course, the same is going on for this guy who's spawning here in the top left location. Natural expansion, a little bit more to the right. The next one, even more to the right, another expansion. And in addition to this, we have a gold expansion in the center of the map, another gold expansion in the center of the map, and in addition to this... <laughs> Oh yeah, it's even more at the 2 o'clock location, another base, and as well here over at the 8 o'clock location. So each player can take up a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 additional bases. So in the end we could have a split map, 6 base against 6 base situation, even though I don't think this that we should see it. I never saw a game on Belgia Beach which goes on, goes on longer for than like 30 minutes. So I'm really, really looking... Uh, forward to see those guys uh, play on here. Maybe we'll set a new record because, like you just saw, the last game was going on for quite a while. Now, here in the center of the map, there are two Zelnaga Watchtowers, or I mean, I'm not sure if you can call this a Zelnaga Watchtower, but there's a scouting device. Let's go with scouting device. <laughs> and this looks really funny, by the way, because only if you're next to it, it just like pops up, and other than that, it just stays in the ground over here. So, very nice animation by. Um, I think it is Alice Prime who was doing, uh, who was uh, creating this map. If I'm, but I'm not too certain about this. So basically, this guy, map comes from Korea by the Gum TV guys. It's for sure. Now let's just see what both players are actually doing. TLO once again with his trademark scouting barracks early in the game. And did you remember when Goody was spotting this scouting barracks? He was building a lot of marines, and then he was able to do just some damage and a little bit of damage in the base of TLO because TLO basically did not have enough marines on the field. Now this time this is not going to happen there. Goody is going for the style port. He is going for the tech lab at the factory and they're already building a viking. Now what is so super good about this barracks? What is the advantage and disadvantage about this scouting barracks strategy? Of course a big disadvantage is that you cannot continue producing marines and if you're not having a bunker and you just like getting turex or something which is of course not common at all in tvt but still possible uh, you might be in a little bit of trouble and you have you're forced to use some scvs the good thing about this is though uh, when you move it move out with the barracks directly your opponent will simply not have enough anti-air left as to completely kill your barracks so you can completely scout your opponent's base and still retreat with the barracks without having to scan, without having to use any additional um, methods of scouting. Now TLO is sending a, a CV over here to repair the barracks. He scouted everything he needed to scout there, uh, the style port and the factory, of course. Goody, with knowing that he has been scouted over there, decided not to go for any Banshee play, but instead a siege tank and Vikings coming up for him right away. There, he is building his command center in the bottom right. Meanwhile, TLO once again with a faster expand, having this auto already finished. Now, took out 
this scouting alien here by Goody. Did Goody kill an SCV? Oh, no, he was not able to kill an SCV, but the total SCV count, uh, the total count of killed SCVs is, of course, looking great in favor for TLO right now with a 1 to 0. And, of course, the more red you see on those bars, the more it's in favor of TLO, the more purple you see. It's looking better for Goody. Harvest account time. It is 29 for Goody, 31 for TLO. And even though Goody likes to queue up a lot of SCVs, at least he is producing them on a constant basis. Of course, there are a lot of jokes going around uh, with Goody having quite inferior mechanics, and that's why he just queues up five SCVs, five aliens at a time in the factory. But he still manages to win, and in terms of metagame and game smartness, Goody is absolutely world elite. Moving in with two siege tanks, what does TLO have? TLO does have eight uh, Hellions, and that's basically it. Now, Goody uh, was able to take out one Viking, he's got two SCVs repairing uh, the other Vikings. Now, there he is bunkering it up, and looks like we have a little bit of a tank marine Viking attack early on here in the game. Now, TLO, what is he doing right now? He's building a Thor, why not? He's got two Thors in production now. The Thor got a range of 10 as an anti air, which is, of course, quite huge. Uh, the second longest range after the siege tanks with the range of 13. Now, there he's got his second siege tanks, his uh, Thor's, uh, his Hellions as well, so he should have enough damage to take out all of those forces immediately. He was focusing on the siege tanks, and so now there's only one siege tank left, there's only one bunker left, this last siege tank goes down, and of course he, TLO having some SCVs, repairing his Thor's, and it was absolutely no problem for him to break this contain this take out the forces of Goody. Now when we take a look at how many SCVs were killed by Goody we see two. So this take was absolutely not effective at all and um, in terms of units lost Goody is behind and in terms of total harvests on the field with the 42 against the 31 because when Goody was using his SCVs to support his Vikings and his siege tanks at the front here when he was attacking the natural of TLO Goody was out oh, yeah using SCVs who are not mining, so even, uh, not only that he has less SCVs, but also he was having even less mining, so this is quite a huge deal. Now, looks like TLO is about to go for a counter-attack. There are three Thors out, uh, there's three SCVs at the front, more Hellions moving in, for Thor number four coming in, and there he's attacking at the natural expansion, of course. This single siege tank will get taken out right away. You cannot repair siege tanks against Thors, and there are the three Thors taking out the bunkers, the Viking is going down as well, and I think Goody does not have much left over here. I don't see many forces on the uh, field, and so does he, because he GG's out of the game, and this is quite a tradition on Belgium Beach. No one really appreciates the beauty of the map. GG is called, and TLO takes the lead after losing the first game. It's now 2-1 to one in favor of TLO. This means he only needs to win one more game in order to take the show match home. Goody, on the other hand, needs to win two more.